Shalom, shalom, family. Welcome once again to the Uzi Alewi channel. My name is Uzi Alewi. I'm one of the teachers at Congregation Beit DCB, Beit Da'at Kagma Bina. And thanking the creator of heaven and earth for all things and everything, food, clothing, and shelter, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I'm thankful to the great king for my life and the life of Kobe Yisrael scattered in the four corners of the earth. I'm thankful to this great king for everything that he does for us in our lives. Um, thanking the creator for food, clothing, and shelter. Thanking him for all things and everything. Don't forget to share the um, the link to everyone out there. I know I started kind of early today, but I kind of wanted to... Um, oh, let me disable the the notifications and this stuff right here. You're hearing all the blinging from the from the phone. Let me throw on the do not disturb. Yes. So what's up? What's up, family? Um Thanking the Most High God for for life. Thanking the Creator for for knowledge, for wisdom. Above all understanding. I'm thankful to this great king for all things and everything. And um, I pray that the creator will continue to be with us wherever we're at, scattered in the four corners of the earth, um, that the Most High will protect us and guide us and keep us and allow us to be um, that people that he said we will be. He allow us to be priests of the nations, to be the people who um, through everything will bring knowledge to the world as to who he is. So, gracias a Dios, toda ya, for all things and everything. Don't forget to um to share the link to, to your different platforms. Don't forget to let people know that we're on over here. Shabbat Shalom, Ruben Yisrael, Yolanda Blair, Marsha Yisrael, Julia Figueira, Na Asira Yisrael, beautiful forever. Moradina Yisrael, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Thanking the Creator for all things and everything, and I'm thankful to the Most High King for my life, and I'm and I'm grateful to the Creator for all things and everything. Um, I usually start about eight thirty, but today I want to start a little bit earlier, cause the the sun is going down earlier, so. The preparations are earlier, thus we could start a little bit earlier, but it seems like we don't got that many people on. People probably still eating their food, still recovering from whatever. Um, so it is what it is. Yeshai Ben Levi, Shabbat Shalom to you. Um, Tavel, Mori Tavel, Shabbat Shalom to you. Am I sounding good or am I sounding too low or is my, how is the audio in the video? Let me know if the audio and the video are good by giving me the number one, putting the number one on the screen. Um, Hannah Levy, Shabbat Shalom, um, Princess Hannah. Shabbat Shalom to everyone out there. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be thankful to the Most High God for for life. Um, I'm going to be thankful to the creator for knowledge of self once again. And for everybody out there, you know, we got to keep our prayers up for all the people out there that um that are going through something. All the people out there who are facing adversity. Let us keep our prayers up for our brothers and sisters of Benny Adat so that they could help, um, so that they could get their place rebuilt to um Temple Keferim out in um in Philly. Um Nasi Kez. Also that he might get his place rebuilt. And everyone who who needs prayer, all of our brothers and sisters who are incarcerated. Everybody who um who's going through something through a struggle. We need to learn to pray for each other. 
I'm thankful to the Most High God that my um my Ema, she went to the doctor on Thursday to get the result from results from her scan, um from her scan. I mean, I said scam, from her scan, and um as y'all know, I've been sharing it with everyone. My Ema um she contracted um. Or, or got cancer in her uterus earlier this year. Um, she had to go remove all of that. Um, it was a stage one. Um, then she had to go through six um, treatments of chemotherapy and some radiation. And um, told I, and last week she went for a scan. Um, she um she went for a scan last week. You know they you know they gotta they have to do a scan to make sure that nothing came back or nothing is in there. And um, when she went yesterday, told her yeah everything is clear, no signs of anything. So she has to go back every three months now because she did have an uh, an aggressive form of cancer. They caught it in um, stage one. So I'll ask all of you to keep my email in your prayers, Ms. Maria Twit. And also she's beginning to listen to the lessons every Shabbat. And um, that's that would be a blessing for me, for my email to, to, to fully come into this way of life and, and start to walk it. So I'm praying, and I hope that you keep your prayers up for her. Ms. Maria Twit. Um, keep her in your prayers that the Most High God will keep her um, disease free and that she'll be good. Um, you know, last year when I went to the, last year I went to, to the, I, I say this story because it's, it's so, it's so crazy, right? Last year around this time, I went to the Phenomenal Women's um, dinner. They have, you know, they would have these dinners about, um, Cancer awareness, and they will honor all these um, sisters that um, had one day battle with with cancer. And and last year I went to support one of our sisters, and I went and I was just there, you know, supporting, videotaping, like I do, you know, all the time. I'm videotaping. I'm I'm always finding an opportunity. Um. And, you know, you hear all these stories, you hear people, you know, people make testimonial. And, you and you know, about 30 years ago, we went through a similar thing with my aunt, Sonia. Well, hers was breast cancer. And, you know, she went, she did the surgery. And 30 years later, she's still here, healthy and, and, and a survivor. So... You know, 30 years removed from that feeling, kind of like you're kind of you're not. I don't want to say outdated, but you kind of don't. You're not in touch with that feeling that you felt back then. You know, back then I was a teenager, and I remember almost it being almost like a like a like a death sentence. But when she she fought it and she came through and it never came back, it was it was a sense of we beat it. And then come back to it comes back to my to my Ema thirty years later, and then you get that feeling again. You you remember exactly what is it that you felt, right? Because my aunt and my Ema are like they're like my mothers, so it's not like oh you know that's my mother, but my aunt is also like my mother, so I love them both greatly. So, um, you know, going to that whole to that whole event, it gave me a perspective, but like you feel so not attached to it. So I was waiting for it this year because I was going to take both my aunt and my Ema, but I guess they're not having it this year, that um, phenomenal woman um, dinner. They're not having it this year because I was going to go with my Ema and with my aunt to show that they were also survivors and um, so that they could see and have a support group. I think things like that are so important 
for us to do and to share amongst each other because it, it, it helps to strengthen us. When we go through situations in life, um, knowing that someone else went through the same thing that you are going through or have gone through, you know what they're speaking about. And when they give you advice, the advice is coming from a perspective of someone that's experienced the same thing that you've gone through. So that in itself is a blessing when you can have that support group. And um, I'll give an endorsement to the phenomenal women that they do a great job. And they do a great job in in working that out amongst 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 the amongst the the um amongst the sisters in Israel. And not only the sisters in Israel, but I believe there were just um you know people that weren't Israelites there that they were honoring. Um that were just our people. So it's definitely uh, um it's something that that we need to continue. It's something that I think um, it brings strength and unity to our community. I believe that we um, it helps us to to become closer and to become stronger when we can have that support group of people that could help us in in all those in all those avenues and all the things that that we go through as a people. So. Um, just got to keep monitoring it and hoping that the that the creator will continue to bless my mother with with life and with and she be able to fight through i'm thankful i'm thankful to the creator for for this platform for y'all even thinking that i'm worthy of listen that y'all you know that y'all find me you know interesting and talking and saying whatever i do it's been like you know, when I calculate it, I know it's been like over 10 years now or about 10 years since I've been doing this. And people often ask me, they like, how do you come up with stuff? I said, sometimes it's just the spirit of the creator that move you in certain ways. And before you know it, you're talking about something. And and that's what someone needs at that time. So the most High God sometimes guides what exactly is it that we're doing. Sometimes... We think we're controlling it, but Yah is, is ultimately the judge and the controller of the universe. So he controls everything that, that that happens. And he controls the way that we move and the way that we look at things and our outlook on life. Um, it comes from the creator. So um yeah, definitely. This is this is great. I'm thankful to the mighty king. There's a lot of things going on in the news. God is in the details, Chief. That's right. That was Chief of Chiefs line right there. But um he um the the the, the creator, you know, it's a lot of things going on in the news right now. It's a lot of um there's one major thing that I want to get into, but I don't want to have to repeat it. So I'm going to wait till we get about 50 people in the room. When I get to 50 people, then I'll open up on that particular topic because I know y'all want to talk about it. Um, I'm, there's a couple of things I want to announce within the community. Those of y'all that are in New York City, on October 13th, we will be having a, a coat drive. So all your lightly used coats and, and clothing and stuff like that. Please bring it to Bay DCB. We will be there from, um, I believe, 11 in the morning. Um, naturally, if you want to donate something, you might want to bring it a little bit earlier so that we could sort it out and see what we could do with it. So we're going to be there from early in the morning. So everybody come out and um, come help. Come help out people, all right? Come help some people out that might be less fortunate than you and that the Most High God would even look upon us and even grant us a blessing even through through everything you know so that's it let me look for something up here I have to look for some things before we get started 
So give me one segundo here. Give me a segundo here, people. Excuse me for the burp. Give me one second here. Video manager. Mm. Okay, something is going on here. I'm trying to find. I know what I got to do. Give me a second here, family. One second, fam. Here we go. All right. Get to the live control room. All right, we got 41 people thus far. And I just want to copy. Just copy. Hmm, very interesting. Something is going on here. Okay. Trying to find a link to the stream. Can't find it. It's okay. Let me go back here. Give me a second, family. Trying to get certain things done here. Once I get them done, oh, we got we need three more people for fifty. Then we could begin. What I want to talk about. So, go to live control room. Let's see what they got here. Mm. Okay. Got nothing here. Okay. That's cool. All right, let's see what they got here. You know what? I'll just forget about that right now. Because I'm just trying to find something on my tablet. Can't find it. But I'll be all right. So... I'll be with you in one minute. Somebody told me about this before. I was a young daughter. So make sure you tell Chief Uzal he has everything under, that he's ready to go when, when we get started. And obviously, young daughter, you know who you are. I'm not ready. <laughs> I tried. 
I said, make sure he has everything as he told she told her mother to tell me. And she is absolutely right. All right. So, thanking the creator of heaven and earth once again for my life, food, clothing, and shelter, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And I'm grateful to this great king. I want to start out first by playing a song. Um, I believe this song, well, this song was done almost 30 years ago. Um, it was done by my brother named, um, my best friend, uh, named LeVan. We had a rap group called Minister Society. Before the, before the movie even came out, we were named Minister Society. And he did this song called My Revolution. And I think the song is pretty, um, it's still relevant today. Just listen to the lyrics. Listen to the lyrics. And I think that when you listen to the lyrics, you you, you will like it. Here we go, My Revolution. And then we're going to get into our, our discussion. Hello, what's up, matey? What have we done for ourselves lately? It's the R O double B I N G from the Minister Society. We got Rick, Daz, and Mark in an effect, do you understand? We're too black, too strong, but something seems to be wrong, so tell them what it is, Levine. Kick it. I have to let out this anger inside of me Because all before when I tried to be quiet as a mouse My tension build up I can't say calm while my race get killed up Never in a million years I see so many tears From the people still living in fear Our forefathers had so much pride To refuse to be slaves so they committed suicide So cry and died on damn ships My culture ideas, all of that was strength We was dragged now to a northern shore And thought about a God we never seen before Some say I'm racist, I can't see it But if they help my people so be it Cause I'm only down for the shrimp and regrouping Trying to say my brother We need a mind revolution That's right, a mind revolution is an effect So you better get in it Because the new government won't include a president A house or a senate We're now introducing A very close friend to me Brothers and sisters, would you please welcome Robin Leach in a place to be Some are waiting for the end For peace and love I get the feeling they don't know what was The reason for the change is the pain and what drove a black race insane? Uh -huh. Sing to the many soul, the loose control. The Old Testament is 39 books at home. Uh -huh. Our past, present, future, and up to now, scientists still wondering how. Yeah. A book could be so accurate, uh -huh. to them it's hard. Yeah. This is the power of the Almighty God. Yeah. Rappers for the rebel, and give a lot of heavy metal. metal. But like heavy metal, metal. we don't praise the devil. Yeah. I got you getting there, yeah. Miss Alice, switch it up. Yeah. On the street, the black man is a sitting duck. Self defense is just a second solution. Yeah. Uh, we know the mind revolution. Yeah. Come on, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Jesus, that's why we're so dumb, we sung, we still overcome Why dogs bite and chew on the old and young But that's why I refuse to be silent If they're non-violent, I'll be non-violent But eye for eyes, what the true God said it is Love your enemy is negative The mosaic laws is the only solution Again, we need a mind revolution Check out your mind Check out your mind Check out your mind Check out your mind, Check out your mind. So there you go. We need a mind revolution. Let me know what you think of the song. Um, back then we was kind of um, anti. Oh, we still are. 
anti-establishment. Um, that song is about 28 years old, 27 years old, um, almost 30 years old. Let me see how old am I? I'm 44. So when that came out, I had to be about 16 years old. Mm. 16 or 15 years old. So yeah, we need a mind revolution. Um, and why do I start out with that? Um, and some of the lines, he, you know, I think he says, um, when he begins, I have to let out this anger inside of me because all before when I tried to be quiet as a mouse, my tension build up. I can't stay calm while my race get killed up. Never in a million years I've seen so many tears from a people still living in fear. Our forefathers had so much pride. Some refused to be slaves, so they committed suicide. Some cried and died on them ships. Our culture, ideas, all of that was stripped. We was dragged. We was dragged and nagged. No, we was nagged and dragged to a northern shore and thought about a God we never seen before. Some say I'm racist. I can't see it. But if it helped my people, so be it. Because I'm only down for the strength and regrouping. We need a mind revolution. Um, and I know that y'all caught up on the beat and stuff like that. But it's more the lyrics that I wanted you to listen to. You know, some are waiting for the end. For peace and love, I get the feeling they don't know what was. The reason for the um the reason for the for the pain, no, for the chain years of pain and what drove a black race insane. You know, he speaks about the, the old testament being thirty nine books that hold our past, present, future up to now. Scientists still wondering how a book could be so accurate to them is odd. That's just the power of the almighty God. Um, rappers for the rebel equalizes every heavy metal, but unlike heavy metal, we don't praise the devil. Um, then the last part is. Um, some darn crooks came and took the holy book. Hooked up some gook. This is what they put. Story about another man. It wasn't true. According to Exodus 4.22, God said Israel was his son, even his firstborn. So I want to make it easy for the unborn. The church every day to mislead us with the teachings of Jesus. That's why we're so dumb. We sung, we shall overcome. Why dogs bite and chew on the old and young. But that's why I refuse to be silent. If they're nonviolent, I'll be nonviolent. And now for eyes what the true God said it is. Love your enemy is negative. The mosaic loss is the only solution. Again, we need a mind revolution. So that, that's, that's what I can remember from the lyrics. I was there live and direct. I was the hype man, the sidekick. Um, but it's so pertinent today. And the reason that I that I bring that up because um I seen this this past Thursday or Wednesday the brother of both on um John or Jean I guess you would say J E A N Jean both on Jean um he he got on the stand during the sentencing of his brother's murderer um amber i believe is geiger amber geiger is is police officer in dallas texas who went into the wrong apartment she claimed that um it was a mistake she went into the man's apartment shot him and killed him in his own own apartment 
She was found guilty this past week, this last Wednesday, I believe, of murder in the state of Texas, which are murder in Texas um, for sentencing. The sentencing could go from anywhere from five years to 99 years. No more than, than 99, no less than five, right? Um, that's the law. And thank you to the sister of Zanya for putting me on to that when I was um, ranting and raging. So basically, the judge or the, the jury, I guess, because the jury decides out there how long of a, of a sentence, I guess, you will get. And they decided on, on 10 years. She got 10 years for, for murdering um, brother both and um, John. And what happened is that, um, and that being a state crime, not really being a, a federal crime, I believe federal crime, you do about 90% of your sentence. State, you could do half of your sentence, come out on good behavior. Um, but what's significant about this is she was charged with murder. Now, murder is murder. Um, murder basically is going or do committing a crime or taking someone's life with intent. Am I right or wrong? That's the definition of murder, premeditated intent. This is what you intended to do. Um, it wasn't an accident. That's my understanding of murder. Now, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, but I think pretty much that's the understanding of murder that we all have. Um, now, she was found guilty by a jury of her peers. As the American um, judicial system says, that, you know, everyone has, has the right to a trial by a jury of their peers. I'm certain that the jury that they selected for her was truly a jury, a jury of her of her peers. Now forget, forgive my my sometimes mixing up my my language. Remember, English is not my first language, so state half the time. Okay, federal day for day, state half the time. Um, so here it is. She gets. Found guilty. Um, they sentenced her to 10 years, which a lot of people are not happy with. But nonetheless, uh, a police officer gets found guilty and sentenced to do time for killing a black man. I mean, that's in itself is, is surprising, but all right, we... We we get it. We understand it. They're not going to throw the book at her. It is what it is. But there were some disturbing things that happened um, at sentencing. The first being, well, at least disturbing to me. I don't know how everyone out there felt or how you feel about the situation. You might feel like what happened was okay, it wasn't a problem, so forth and so on. That's, I don't want to say that's neither here nor there, but it is, uh, let me just say it like this. Um, both on um, Gene's brother, and and I, I don't remember his name right now. Maybe I don't remember his name because what he said was so shocking to me, you know. Um and let me quote him exactly what he said. Let me quote exactly what he said so that way I'm not mixing words or paraphrasing. Give me one second here. Stay right there with me.
I just want to make sure I get the right. Here we go. It says, this is from CBS This Morning online. Um, it says, the murder trial of former Dallas cop who shot and killed her unarmed neighbor in his home last year ended in a dramatic gesture of forgiveness. The brother of victim Botan Jean hugged former police officer Amber Geiger, a gesture that brought even the judge to tears. In an interview with CBS News, Omar Villafranca, the victim's mother, Allison John, says she was surprised by the moment her 18-year-old son, Brant, offered forgiveness to his brother's killer. So the mother, Allison um, John, was surprised that her 18-year-old son, Brant, did this this hug and forgave this woman. What he did today was remarkable and he did it all on his own, she said. What Brand did was to cleanse his heart towards Amber. I do not want it to be misconstrued as a complete forgiveness of everybody, right? So basically the mother said everybody don't feel the same way he does and she's basically putting up a good face for the family but a mother is a little bit different. She said there's plenty of blame to go around for the murder of her son, Bothan, not just with Geiger in her eyes. Multiple Texas agencies share the responsibility. I just want to find what the brother... I want to find exactly what the brother said. Because I think this is what kind of... So you hear the mother and the mother saying, basically... I don't want everybody to confuse what my son said and make it feel like we all feel that way. All right. This is what he said while he was up there while she was getting sentenced. Now, I know a lot of y'all ready to, ch to chime in and call in and all that, so let me make sure I quote everything correctly. This is what he said on, on, on the stand as sentencing was being brought forth. This is what Brant um, Jean said, Botan's brother. Botan is the, Botham is the brother that, that was murdered. This is what he said. I love you just like anyone else, and I'm not going to hope you ride and die. Brent, Gene told Geiger, I personally want the best for you. I wasn't going to say this in front of my family. I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you because I know that's exactly what Bothan will want for you. Give your life to Christ. I think giving your life to Christ is the best thing Bothan would want for you. I know what y'all gonna say. Y'all ain't, you know, it's somebody that might be listening that's, that's not an Israelite, that might believe in Christ or whatever. Um... First of all, I love you just like anyone else, and I'm not going to hope you ride and die. I don't love everyone. I don't love people that I don't know. Love is a strong word. Now, I don't want to come down on the brother, but I kind of have to, right? First of all, love, you can't love someone that you don't 
completely know, and certainly not anyone that just got convicted of, of, of murder, and not only murder, but murdering your own flesh and blood, your brother. You certainly can't tell me that you love a person like that. And murder is... is going to kill someone with intentions to kill them. Now, please tell me if I'm wrong, if that's not the definition of murder. It's like premeditated, right? Manslaughter is one thing, um, right? They got manslaughter in different degrees or whatever, but she was convicted of murder. Now, he said, I love you just like anyone else. I personally want the best for you. You personally want the best for your brother's murderer? This is the key point that we have to remember. The jury saw something in all of this that they that did not sit well with them, right? How do you get into an apartment that's not yours? How is it that your first intent intention was to was to murder this this person. There's a lot of things that we don't see that we don't know that the jury saw that they that they thought that murder was um was the proper um sentence to give her. It says here he wants the best for her. I wasn't going to say this in front of my family. I don't even want you to go to jail. I don't want you to go to jail? I want the best for you because I know that's exactly what Bothan will want you for you. How will you know what Bothan will, Bothan will want for, for her if he's not here? I know one thing for certain that Bothan will want his life back. That's for sure. He didn't. He didn't feel like he deserved to die. So, give your life to Christ. I think giving your life to Christ is the best thing both of will want for you. So now, this is what I have to say. When we look at Torah, because people, you know, our people are a bunch of docile, um, accept anything bunch of people you cannot hope you cannot say you love and you hope that I, that you don't go to jail to someone who just finished murdering who just finished getting sentenced for murdering someone let's not lose fact or track of the fact that she was convicted of murder he could be in shock because but to, to get on the stand and, and, and say those words is damaging. Um, even when we look at Torah, right? And I want to look at it from the perspective of Torah. When, when we look at it from Torah, it says that if you have someone who's... Um, Who's in the field working with someone else, right? And being in the field, it says, you're working with an axe, and the axe handle or the, 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 the axe head breaks away from the handle, and it strikes someone and it kills them, right? It says the person who was working with the axe has to go, To the city of refuge. He got to make a beeline to the city of refuge. Um, when he, he begins to make this beeline to the city of refuge, he, he does his explaining at the city of refuge as to what happened, right? And it goes through a number of things. You know, if, if it had not been known that they had any kind of beef before or that he said and wait for his brother, blah, for the brother, this, that, and the other, it was truly an accident. You go to the city of refuge. Um, 
Then once you get to the city of refuge, they do an investigation. They find out what happens. And then if it's, if it's found out that, no, this guy did it intentionally, the elders of that city bring him out and the avenger of blood takes him out. But if it was found out that it was done accidentally, right? That it was a it was a homicide, you know, someone died accidentally, it wasn't truly a murder. That in that instance, the person who killed who 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 who, who took away the person's life accidentally must stay in that city of refuge until the high priest passes away. Now Please let me know if I'm wrong in, in, in interpreting this, this verse in Torah. So you stay in there until the high priest passes away. Now the high priest could live for another 40 years. <laughs> you have to stay in there. The high priest could, could live for another year, and then you come out after the year. But nonetheless, there's a time of separation between you and that avenger of blood because there is an avenger of blood now it also says if that guy who did that who had the accident who 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 um that the the axe head broke away from the axe handle and he doesn't get into the city of refuge in time and that avenger of blood catches up to him That that blood is on that person's head for not getting to that city of refuge quick enough, because by man by man's it said by man's hand shall blood be expiated if blood is spilt by man. When you spill, when someone loses their life, there's accountability for that. There is no such thing as, oops, I'm sorry. Someone has to pay for that. Someone has to be accountable for that, whether it was an accident or not. Whether it was an accident or not. So now, this is the person who murdered your brother. That's what they call it. They called it murder. Um. And then people try to use the Bible, but they use the wrong part of the Bible. See, the Most High God even gave us, like I was speaking to my brother Tavel earlier, and he was talking to me, and this made sense what he was saying that his Abba always said. They said, the Most High God is intelligent above all of us because he's even given the family time to heal, right? Because when you lose a loved one, you're not trying to hear anything. You ever go down a street where where um, a child runs out? Now, the child could have been wrong, chasing a ball out into the street, and a car hits them, hits that child. Even, the ch even if the child doesn't pass away, just get hit, he get laid out, that driver sometimes catches a bad one. It's not pretty for that driver because of the emotions and and, and everything that's inside of you bottled up, right? That's a natural human instinct because once you see your loved one is dead, you're not trying to hear anything. And that blood's been spilled. You're trying to find the person who did something to your loved one. You understand what I'm saying? So now when we get to, to, to it doesn't talk about the avenger of blood even in an accident you know, that he's forgiven anybody. They say, if you don't get your butt in that, if you don't get your butt in that city of refuge, that you you might lose your life, right? How much more so someone who's been convicted of murder? And not only that, to add insult to injury, after you say you love her just like everybody else, after you say that you um you wish no no bad on her and that she don't even go to jail, and you ask the judge, can you give her a hug?
we look as a people, and I'm just saying this, as a people, we look like a weak bunch of people to the world. No other nation, no other group of people does what we do. And I think one of the important things that we need to look at is how Christianity has made us docile and made us accepting of all and everything. Christianity and Christ in particular is a stronger has a stronger grip on black people that than crack ever had. And I'm gonna say that again. Christianity and Christ has a stronger grip on black people than crack ever did. It's ridiculous to me. Except Christ? What that got to do with anything? Your human emotions, you could see that he was angry, but you were made... This is why my teachers always used to say, this is a slave man's religion, right? And somebody was discussing about the black man's Bible where they only put verses as to where you were to forgive your, your, your enemy, as to where you were supposed to uh, respect your slave master, um, as to where you were supposed to bow down and turn the other cheek. These are all the things that they teach us. This is what Christianity teaches. I'm sorry, right? And it's wrong. You don't have to forgive someone who has committed a heinous crime. I'm not saying that you don't forgive for certain things, but this thing right here, what are you being, what, what are you forgiving? There's nothing to forgive for. There's nothing for you to forgive. And this is why, and this is why people don't respect us as a people. This is why people continue to do what they want to do with us as a people. Because of situations like this. This Christianity has made us docile. And I see that that I dropped off a bit. I know some people got offended when I started talking about the whole Christ thing. But that is what they were taught through Christianity. To turn the other cheek. To love your enemy. God said he loved Jacob, but he hated Esau. God, Yah, is not a God of love. He don't love, 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 love everybody. The Most High God said he hates the evil in us. Hates. That's the opposite of love. Someone was calling me. Yeah, so, you know, we, Toda, I mean, people, we we have to know and, and we have to set our priorities straight. We have to set our priorities straight. We cannot go around loving the people who hate us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying in every instance is you go out there and you, you riot or you start messing with people. Listen, um... The bundle of sticks, people, we got them all in New York City, right? Every time I see one of them, I don't have to react. As long as you don't bother me, I don't bother you. I walk, you walk, that's it. Somebody could walk around with a, with whatever, um, and it won't bother me. But when it's something of this magnitude that affects the whole movement or, or affects a whole race of people, you have to be conscious of the things that you put out there. Not only did he say those words, also both Tham's father forgave her publicly on the church pulpit. And he said he wished that he could become friends with her. Now, the connotations behind all this, right? 
you know, back in the in times of slavery, don't white women used to come and love down those big, what they used to call bucks, those slaves, and they used to and used to scream rape. White women have gotten more black men killed in this country than anything else. That's just a sick irony. I mean, she she murdered him, but white women have gotten more black men murdered than any than 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 anybody else. I'm serious. And to think that and and I'm gonna get to the judge and I'm gonna get to 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 the to the court officer and all of them to think that we could we that we have to stand there and watch someone forgive someone who has clearly done wrong that was that was convicted of something by a jury of their peers not by people that didn't like a, a jury of her peers Religion is the opium of the soul. Absolutely. It keeps you drugged up. That's why I'm glad we don't have a religion. We have a way of life. People say, oh, y'all got to know. We have a way of life. We don't have a religion. Religion was given to us to keep us docile. That religion is a slave religion. Because the people who taught us the same religion, they do not turn the other cheek. Our people sometimes are so sickening. There is a no other way to say it. When in Charleston, um, South Carolina, Dylan Roof went in there and murdered all those people. The very next day, or the very, or the or the next couple of days, those the the families of the victims came out and said that they forgave them. Also, that shows a pattern. We the only people that do that, that forgive people who do us wrong. It's, it's, it's almost like it's almost like you figure if I forgive them, maybe they won't do the wrong anymore, or maybe they won't do us wrong anymore. Maybe if we if we if we lay back, you know, they won't do us wrong anymore. It's not like that. When I used to box, my trainer used to tell me one thing when I first started out boxing. He used to say, just because, he said, when someone hits you hard, right, and in your mind you figure, man, he just hit me hard. Um, let me not hit him as hard because maybe he'll let up on me. Um, he told me, the minute you let up and he senses that you let up because he's hitting you hard, he's going to continue to dog you. And he's not going to let up. People ain't going to let up on you if you forgive them. And then you ask the judge to hug her, and when you know when I first saw the moment, I said, "Oh man, he got an opportunity to get it off." I mean, most of us would would have. I mean, I'm sorry to speak like this, people, but most of us would have choked her out, knock, try to knock her block off, try to do something. I mean, if the judge gave me an opportunity like that, I'd still be sitting in in jail right now in the county jail in, in Texas because I would have took my best shot to knock her out, knock some teeth out, you know, try to do something. You kill, you murder my brother and think that I'm going to come give you some damn, excuse my language, give you some darn hug, right? I thought he was playing it. I said, man, he going to play it. He going to get a, he going to get a, he going to get off. And that's what he went and did. He hugged her. So as black people, we need to see what's wrong. And and wrong is wrong. And not accept wrong. Not accept when is don't don't add insult to injury when we see what's right in front of us. You know? Ignorance of the law. Th listen, we've been living with this as black people for years. Man, I didn't know that that was a law. Well, ignorance of the law is no excuse. 
Ignorance of the law is no excuse. You was found guilty of murder. Go in there, do your time. And you you over here talking about you forgive her and you want a hug? Man, go sit down somewhere. You give black people a bad name wherever they're at. All the other races of people look at us and go, are you, are you freaking serious? You think, you think Jewish people will ever forgive Germans for what they did to them in Auschwitz and all those, all those con concentration camps that they were put in and all those ovens that they were baked in and all the places that they were um, gassed in? They'll never forget it till this day. The, 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 the harshest Jews or the Jews that are the most, how do you say, it, um, st streamlined or, or, or how do you, uh, orthodox, they refuse to buy anything German. And that's been 70-something years, going on 80-something years. They refuse to buy anything German. They don't, and I don't blame them. Why would I buy anything German if, if whatever happened to my people in Germany happened? I don't blame them. Why would I support anything German? I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying that we got to do better as a people. And I don't care where you come from. People talking about, oh, he wasn't, he wasn't, um, well, I get it. Th th that family's not from Texas, and I understand that. But, man, slavery happened to us wherever we was at, in Haiti, St. Lucia, Jamaica, Guyana, Trinidad. I know some Jamaican, some, some brothers and sisters that came from Jamaica, from Trinidad, Guyana. If they would have gotten that opportunity, they would have snapped their neck. I'm sorry, I, I mean... They they wouldn't have went. They not docile like that. You know what I mean? I know some people that they would have. They probably would have played it like that. Like, yeah, can I give her a hug? And they would have went straight to work on her. And then the black judge. When I saw the black judge, I said, yes, you know, somebody who's gonna judge this right. Then the judge comes down and asks her to give her a hug and give her a Bible. You should lose your job forever and not sh and should not be able to judge any other cases. I want to know of any other case where she came down and she hugged a murderer. Maybe maybe she has. I could be wrong. I'm not I'm not talking absolutely. I'm saying Show me another case where she has come down from her bench, especially a case with a black man that she could probably clearly see that got railroaded, that she came down, gave them a Bible, and gave them a hug and said, everything going to be all right, honey. You going to be good. I'm waiting, man. I'm waiting. Only us as a people, man. It's only us. It goes back to the days of slavery. Where we became docile, where we got whipped for more than 40 stripes. And then we had to forgive the slave master for what he did. They have to vote her. In. Yeah, and I seen a picture to where the judge was down um, was getting the full support of the of the Dallas Police Department. So they're gonna vote her in again. Cause they love her. They love her. Gonna give her and then 
the court officer standing there the other day rubbing her head, talking about looking for razors in her hair. Can, can you please stop it? He got a bunch of humbled mammies and Uncle Toms. I'm sorry to have to use this language. Coonan before America. You rubbing her hair? Unbelievable. I was offended. I was I was offended. So I've ranted enough. I'm going to this time give y'all an opportunity to call in. 347-622-9090. You might have a something to add to to what I just said. Um 347-622-9090. That's for everyone out there that would like to join the conversation. Imahava Red, you were calling me on the other phone. It was upstairs and my Ozia just um brought it down to me, so that's why I didn't get to to um oh you will call me on this phone also. You know what happened? I got it on Do Not Disturb, so I didn't see the call. Sorry about that, Ema. So I, I physically have to look at the phone, make sure that is on, and then I'm waiting for y'all calls. 347-622-9090. And mind you, people, you know, I'm not one that goes out there and and has gone crazy about everything and and think that we're right in every and everything that we do. I'm not I'm not one of those. Right? But this was too much for me. <sighs> so I'm waiting for y'all's calls. Everything tore. Listen, the most high, like my brother Tavel said, that is Abba told him. The most high God is the master. He understands. He understands that the family who took the loss needs some time to heal. So therefore... You got to stay up in that city of refuge. Because if you leave up out that city of refuge and you lose your life by the avenger of blood, right? Then that was on you. You brought that on yourself. And you mean to tell me that you forgive her, you love her, you hope that she didn't have to go to jail and for her to accept Christ? She don't care nothing about no Christ. Give no dawn about no, no Christ. She don't care about that. Like somebody said, she was tweeting something about MLK Day. Them people don't care nothing about you, man. 347-622-9090. 347-622-9090. Give me a call. Man, people calling me and I'm not seeing it. Let me, let me take off the do not disturb sign. Sorry, Ema. I think because I got the do not disturb sign, it's going straight to, um, all right, I took that off. Now, call me again, 3476. Ema wants to be the first, so let me call her back. <laughs> Let's hear from Ema. She wants to be the first. She already called me several times. Hello? Yes, Ema, mute your mute your computer. You on you on the um you on live. Okay. <laughs> well, praise the most high y'all for life, for the Holy Shabbat day, for mercy and for wisdom. Oh my goodness. I was falling out my chair. I didn't know you guys were gonna talk about this tonight. Oh <laughs> wow. Man, look. This thing is systemic. 
Right. You know, I mean, the first thing I thought about was I have to stop myself sometime. And, I, you know, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I, I try to be a right doing person to people. But, um, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not a person that kiss and poop. To people long time, I ain't one of those, right? But right. sometimes I catch myself. As soon as you see a white person walk, walk by, you get that grin on your face. But you smile the fuck. Right. You smile the fuck. Right. You know, it is systemic with us. But I'm gonna tell you, that was a travesty. To see them do that is a wake up call for everybody. I'm telling you, we got to just stay with the Most High. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all, because these people hate us to the core. They done showed it. They done proved it. We're still sitting here. And you telling me that I'm going to love you and you done just murdered my brother? Mm -hmm. And everybody, and you know what? They do that because they want brownie points. They think that that's going to make them look good. That's right. going to make them, right. you know, that's going to make them elevate them. Or, you know, everybody going to be patting them on the back and right. all that kind of stuff. Right. But that's not who we are. They be I'm like, I have family members, and I'm just going to put it out there. I got people that I'm going to talk to right now today for that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, listen, let me tell you. I say, just because you or somebody went on and married somebody white in the family, that don't mean they worth, they worth more than I'm worth. Right. They just people. They people like everybody else. Because if they were anything special, then right. they'd be doing something different than what they're doing out there now. Because everything right. they're doing is simple. Right. You know? So, um... You have to tell them, look, if you can't get along with me, I can't get along with you. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. I'm right. telling you right now. Right. Because it's all about us survival. This is a survival thing. And you're absolutely right. When we talk about the Jewish people, they don't turn back. They don't turn, They don't backslide away from their commitment right. to each other. And that's something that we have to do. We have to really dig down into treating each other right so that we can get away from that feeling. Because they, they play that light skin, dark skin, they play right. that, um, I got a few dollars, you ain't got no money thing. They play all these different games against us, that Willie Lynch thing, they play that against us, they play all this stuff against us. Everything you see on TV is somebody white laying in bed with somebody black. That's right. Or somebody They're white that. that got That's some right. black kids. That's, That's all you see. You're, white people got black kids now. You right, know? right. All They're that pushing kind of that, stuff. right. Yeah, they're pushing it. They're pushing it. They're pushing it to keep our minds messed up. And I said this working. a couple of years back that um, that all the at first it started with black men with with, with Caucasian women. Now you see mm -hmm. the, the the Caucasian man with with the black woman, and it's and right. it's a programming. You know what I'm saying? Right. We are being programmed now to feel like you know everything is hunky dory, everything is all right. But in their hearts of hearts, even those people who are in those type of marriages, they they still got that that thing in them. You know what I'm saying? They still have that I mean, thing in them. They they still fight and stuff like everybody else. But the bottom line is, my professor told me in college, this was many, many, many years ago, he was teaching in the humanities class that if a black person married a white person, they had to move to a white neighborhood. That was the only option for them to have a good uh, a, a good life and a good marriage. And I told him, I said, no, that's just a, I said, I said no, that's just a, a decision. That's just a choice. Right. You can have just as good a relationship in our neighborhood, right. just as good a marriage in our neighborhood as you could anywhere else, even though I wasn't for that personally. Right. I'm not a hater. I don't hate people. If that's what you want to do, then that's on you. But I'm not getting ready to bow down and kowtow to you either. Right. You know, so... But, um, you know, and, and quite a few other things, you know, but the, the bottom line is people value where their worth system is. If they think that white people or Asian people or any other person is worth more than black people, then that's who you're going to see them with. Mm. That's who they want to be married mm. because that's where their value system is. Right. Plain and simple. That's right. That's what you want to do, more power to you. Get on over there with that. Get on with over me, there with that. That's right. Um, don't think I ain't had a few of them come up to me and, and you know, when I was in my heyday, right? <laughs> and come up on the side and talk real slick and quick. I said, hold on. 
a black man only, okay? <laughs> That's what I mean. And proud of it, okay? But I'm right. just saying, the proof is in the pudding. You see these people, they ain't the first people to come out, oh, I forgive you, I forgive you, oh, I forgive you, because they think that that's what they, the people want to hear. That's right. what the people going to take a feel. When they get to church, it's going to be out of boys all day long. Yeah. But them people, they yeah. ain't there for us. That's we right. have to be there for ourselves. And um, it's the same thing with the Hispanics. They think they white. They don't even want to own up to the fact that they black. The same thing with the Latinos. Now, we finally started to get the school that the Latinos Anything but, but who we really are. But yeah. But now it's becoming a little bit more popular. We're wearing our hair out now. We're doing our thing. Okay, good. Let's keep that train rolling. We got to train <laughs> thing right. up right now. That's I don't right. know if it's a blue pill or the red pill, but I say stop taking pills at all. <laughs> well, right, anyway, praise the most high, y'all. We are Israel. We are one. We have to start taking care of each other so that other people can see the value in being Israel. See the value in us and how we are to each other. And the rest of that stuff will fall to the wayside because people are just lost right now. They don't know what to do. They're trying to do anything and everything to stay afloat. Right. So we ought to show them what time it is. Right. That's how I feel about it. All right. All right. Shalom. Yeah. Shalom. I don't know what's happening. I think the stream has gotten a little bit slower. I'm not sure. Is um, Just let me know how the stream is. Yeah, I know. The same thing with Dylan Roof family. Um, with the, the families of the victim of, of Dylan Roof, they all forgive him the, the very next day. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. Uh, this forgi forgiving people is 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 sickening. It's I'm just I'm just not with that, man. I, brothers, sisters, I'm just telling you that I'm just not with that type of stuff, you know, I'm not, you know, sometimes we get things when we do dumb stuff, right? And you have to acknowledge when we do dumb stuff. You know, I don't go around yelling at white folks and, and white people and I don't, I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? If, if I start, if you start something like that, I'm not going to say that you're right. And I'm just not going to take your, your side because you you look like me. If you messed up, I'm going to say you messed up. That's that. You messed up. And you don't represent me. But in a situation like this that's so clear cut that that you understand there's only one way to roll with it. Come on, brothers and sisters. All right, so I guess the stream is good, right? The stream is the stream is good. If the stream is good, please give me a one. Let me write it the Give me uh, one. I need to take Mavis Bacon again. All right. So, yeah, brothers and sisters. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This is the kind of stuff that keeps us in the same predicament that we and um, Yerusha Yehuda. I seen all the quotes that you put up there. And they were right on the money. Let me go up and um and talk about some of them. Um, because I did see a couple of things that you wrote up here that I thought were very important. You wrote um Yerusha Yehuda wrote. Hold on, let me go back a little bit further because it seems like you had a lot of stuff up here. But I think you were hitting some points that were right and exact. I think you started from right here. All right. Then Peter to JC asked, and how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to 70, seven times, JC answered. I tell you, 77 times, Matthew 18, 21 through 22. Foolishness, absolutely. 
So this is where this concept of forgiveness of your enemy come from, right? And God didn't tell you to love your enemy. Judaism, Yerusha writes, um, Yerusha Yehuda writes, Judaism teaches that because humans have been given free will, then they are responsible for their own actions. If they commit an action which is wrong, forgiveness can only be accepted from the victim. So in other words, only Botan could, could um, um, John could, could give, could forgive Amber Geiger, not the brother. You know what I'm saying? Only the victim. And since the victim is dead, you know, you can't give forgiveness. I'm sorry. So, again, Yahweh is in everything. Absolutely. I just, I just feel like our people have to, our people have to toughen up a little, you know? When somebody, when somebody hit you hard, hit them back hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I learned from my trainer. Like, sometimes you get gun shy. You know, you don't want to throw punches because you feel like if, if, if I don't throw punches, maybe he'll stop hitting me. Don't work like that. A fight don't work like that. A fight works that even if you hit me, I hit you back. You hit me, I hit you back. That's how a fight works. But we get into a fight just trying to use defense and 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 slip and and eventually if somebody figures out that that's all you're trying to do, you know, as a fighter in the ring, then that guy or you know or now girls is going to be all over you. But Yisrael said, if that situation was reversed, no damn Caucasian judge would have hugged a black man or a black woman. I believe so too. I, you know, I, I I I certainly agree with you that I don't think that they would have done that. But that's us, and at the end of the day, we. Let me read you something right here. Let me go into the scripture. says here in Yehoah, um, Numbers 35, 9, Yehoah spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When you pass over the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the manslayer that killeth any person through error may flee, flee thither. And the city shall be unto you for refuge from the avenger, that the manslayer die not until he stand before the congregation for judgment. And as to the cities which ye shall give, they shall be for you six cities of refuge. Ye shall give three cities beyond, beyond the joint, and three cities shall ye give in the land of Canaan. They shall be cities of refuge for the children of Israel and for the stranger and for the settler among them. Shall these six cities be for refuge, that everyone that killeth any person through error may flee thither. But if he smote him with an instrument of iron so that he died, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. And if he smote him with a stone in the hand, whereby a man may die, and he die, he is a murderer, or she, the murderer shall surely be put to death. Or if he smote him with a weapon of wood in the, in, in the hand, whereby a man may die, and he die, he is a murderer, the murderer shall surely be put to death. The avenger of blood shall him, him, himself put the murderer to death, when he meeteth him, he shall put him to death. And if the and if he thrust him and if he thrust him of hatred or hurl at him anything lying in wait so that he died, or in enmity smote him with his hand, that he died, 
He that smote him shall surely be put to death. He is a murderer. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death when he meeteth him. But if he thrusts him suddenly without enmity, or hurl upon him anything without lying in wait, or with any stone whereby a man may die, seeing him not, and cast it upon him, so that he died, he was not his enemy, neither sought his harm. Then the congregation shall judge between the, sm the smiter and the avenger of blood according to these ordinances, and the congregation shall deliver the manslayer out of the hand of the avenger of blood, and the congregation shall restore him to the city of refuge, whether he was fled, and he shall dwell therein unto the death of the high priest, who was anointed with the holy oil. But if the manslayer shall at any time go beyond the border of his city of refuge, whether he fleeth, and the avenger of blood find him without the border of his city of refuge, and the avenger of blood slay the manslayer, there shall be no blood guiltiness for him, because he must remain in his city of refuge until the death of the high priest. But after the death of the high priest, the manslayer may return into the land of his possession, and these things shall be for a statue of judgment unto you throughout your generation and all your dwellings. Whoso killeth any person, the murderer, shall be slain at the mouth of witnesses, but one witness shall not testify against any person that he died. We the only people, people. Even God gave us regulations and told us what to do. God, Our God is not a, just a love God. Let me read you something real quick. Let's go to the book of Malachi. Chapter 1, verse 1, it reads, the burn of the word of Yehoah to Israel by Malachi. I, I have loved thee, saith Yehoah, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yehoah? Yet I loved Jacob, but Esau I hated, and made his mountains a desolation, and gave his heritage to the jackals of the wilderness. So there, it proves that God is not just love. God also hates he said he loved Jacob, but he hated Esau. But we are above God, so we just love, 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 love. Love all over the air. Love all the time. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to, put, to hit the notification bell so that every time we upload something to the channel um, that you will be able to get it. So do that now so that you won't fall behind, okay? So thus far, it seems like everybody is in agreement with me, right? Um, is there anybody out there that's in opposition that might feel different, that might bring a different point of view to me? Please feel free to, feel free to call me, 347-622-9090. Um, Ima Shira Yisrael, some white groups say they are going to, be, to, to sue the judge for giving a murderer a Bible. They cited the law that deals with separation of church and state. A judge must must be neutral. Wow. There she go. The people that she hugged up and she loved. That's just the judge told the whole U.S. It's okay. She killed the black man. Yeah, you people could look at it that way. We forgive you for killing one of our sons. Don't worry. And that's what we've been doing since since the antebellum south that's what that's what that's what we've been doing that's what we've been doing these people expect respect us expect us to be superhuman they will never turn the other cheek this is madness on the third degree absolutely they never turned it i always use this the ira the the um irish republican army they were Protestants, right? They were Christians. And they never turned no cheek to um to to England or to the or to the clown. They were terrorists blowing up things. And they never followed their Christianity. And nobody went to church more than they did. So 
They don't even follow the things that they force fed us. But like I said, this is a slave man's religion, right? And therefore, being a slave, um, we need to teach you things to keep you dasa. <laughs> Yolanda Blair said, Yah said, you shall be holy for I am holy. He forgave Malek Dawi and, and he was a murderer. Right? However, I'm not that holy yet. Um, not that holy yet. Let no judge better not even let me that close to my sibling's murderer. That's right. That's right. I agree with that. Just in case you haven't heard it, it's nation time. That's right. We have to come together. We have to take it home to Yisrael. Yeah, well, oh, if, if that would have been a black man, oh, she would have threw the, I mean, I guess in Texas is, is, is the, the, it was, it was the jury that came up with the sentencing, but, um, I don't know how it works, but she would have told him, get your black behind out of here. And I hope you rot in jail and I'm going to give you the mock, the, the maximum 99 years. She wouldn't have no compassion on her own. Oh, yeah. I hope you burn in hell. I hope that they, that I mean, they said the most deplorable things on the stand. And we go up there and become docile and allow anything. And we're good. And everything is all right. I don't get it, people. But. I guess that's it. Nobody else. I guess everybody, we are on the same page. We agree with it. Um, there's nothing to, more to discuss when it comes to that. And I'm glad. I'm glad that we are on the same page. I'm glad that, that we could be... Um, that we fear Yah. I'm glad that we fear Yah. And that's what I have to say with that. Once again. Now I'm going to play some music. Y'all want to hear some music? Um, I know it's on a little delay, but let me write it in. Um. Nope, the mother didn't have the sentiment of the younger son or the husband or the father. She had to carry that, that boy for nine months. She definitely not going to have the same sentiments. And I'm sure that they catch him flack from some family members. So. Wait to see if y'all want to hear some music. Um. And I could proceed with that. All right, we're going to get to some music. Thank you for joining in the conversation. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for letting um, everybody know, you know, what was up. We here. See some over here. Bong. All right here we go.
This one is by Zamir. Get to like the video, share it, let everybody know that we're playing some music now. Next one is one of my favorites. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Avdeka, we are Marka, Uf Hemteka, we get a car, Ashir Bish Areka, Tore, Kishe Shed Yamim, Asa Yahoa, and Hasha. Y'all got your tambourines, bring your tambourines out. We call Ashir Bam. I want y'all to start jamming. Don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. Let's go. Remember the 
Shabbat day to keep it holy. Remember Shabbat day to keep it holy. Remember Shabbat day to keep it holy. Remember Shabbat day. This one. Let me see your emoji. Come on. Yeah. Let me see your fire emoji, your hundred percent emoji. Your thumbs up, your number ones. So let me know that you like this one here. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. Yeah. This is this one is by request. Uh yeah. Come on. Chief Naftali Ben Don. MC I bring it to you so that you can understand the, the truth. Children of Israel. Hey. Next time you see him, I bring it to you so that let him know I didn't know you flowed truth. like this, Chief. Children of Israel. I'm here to wake your soul up. Fry Rachel Bond State and Shona. Give it to ya. Make the wicked run and panic when I give it to ya. Lost statues and commandments, I'ma give it to ya. Like Moses on the mount. When I shout holy truth, so the youth can't know what I'm talking about. No doubt, no wise words I saw ya. Bro, forth to take a spirit higher. On the flip side of a tire. All fakes and phonies, frogs, cars, and liars. All false messiahs, pretenders, words, pearls, and cleanser. But be not telling them down is on. Refuse to praise his name and get burned by the flame. Let him know uh, how much you like this. I bring a this new reality. The fight is still to kill that Negro, Negro mentality. mentality. So wake up, wake up, Jake up, Jake up, good Jehovah, Elohim, reign supreme. I bring it to you so that you can understand the truth. Children of Israel, you and your squad better praise the real God. Hey, I bring it to you so that you can understand the truth. Children of Israel. You and your squad better the real God. One, two, one, so tell me what the really going to do when the creator of the universe will come calling for you. Take heed. Take I'm guaranteed heed. to give you what you need. Take heed. You the spiritual fool that I'm going to feed you. I believe the blood of Abraham, original Hebrew. He to stop that sin again. This ain't cinema. I don't rock with Jimmy Fox, but I'm that law abiding citizen. And God's holy nation of priests. I'm praying face in the east. Teaching the truth to awaken the streets. Up to a life that is sacred and clean. Know what I mean? So you can pick all you want. Spread your hate, brag, and boast. Most high got my back, God Jehovah's ever oh, uh, aka Lord uh, of Hosts, uh, to whom all praises is due for life. Forsake your way in your you just might lose your life. I'm choosing right over the wrong. I bring a strong representing for my Israelites. Black Ave, how do you get the tribe so name? It's a feeling. Go to Genesis 49 and see what fits you. See what fits you, cause none of us really know what tribe we from. So it's really just a feeling. Oh, Bible said help you. Yo, people refuse to keep 
it real So I got to bring the truth And tell uh, the people how it's done uh, Make it hot like the day Y'all uh, created the sun I like uh, the bullets fired out of your gun To kill the wicked way to keep it real cheese People real refuse cheese. to keep it real So I got to bring the truth And tell uh, the people how we do uh-huh. Stop telling them lies Start teaching the truth Or All the, the next rhyme I write Might be about you about you. about you Shoot the gift that's God given Adversaries one of that's dead You still living Still and still in Y'all's truth and y'all's children The whole of back is still taking a nation of millions. I'm down for the people. I'm down, down for the I'm cause. Down. I'm bound by the Torah, so I'm, I'm down, down by law. In spiritual war, mental sword, I swing. I don't fear no man because I'm, I'm down, down with, with the king. king. I bring it to you so that you can understand the truth. Israel, you and your squad better spring the real God. Hey, I bring it to you so that you can understand the truth. Hey, give it up for Chief Naftali Ben Don. Let him know how much you like his song. Here we go once again with my brother LeVan. I like this one right here. Reminisce. Uh. Uh. Let me know if you can hear the sample on this song. Let me know if you know the sample from I ran this across song. Uzi, we used to hang, man. What's Write up it with up. you? I'm just trying to maintain, man. I replied you know back up to my thing, man. Can't slang, gang bang for some change, you can man. Speaking it. of change, man. Uh-huh. He said I changed, man. I'm in the God, my life I had to rearrange, man. I just stare, look at him, kind of strange, man. Uh-huh. I know your style, I used to wild, do the same thing. We was twins, got it in like yang yang. You was under me like baby had way, man. Good Rhymes, good time, also pain, man. man. Make sure my brother was covered when I used to slang, man. man. I ain't man, I'm just glad what you became, man. man. Right. You got a bar and two pains, man. So what that mean? That mean a daughter and two sons to make it plain, man. Uh-huh. I ain't hating, I'm just happy God's, God's king, king, man. I'll just sit back and reminisce. This place here, I remember this. I reminisce, I reminisce, I reminisce. I reminisce, I reminisce, I reminisce. I'll just sit back and reminisce. This place here, I remember this I reminisce, I reminisce, I reminisce I reminisce, I reminisce, I reminisce I went back the other day to the old camp Shalom. They showed me much love like, like I was an old champ mm-hmm. I saw young dudes I helped shape and made a man Now, now they, they teach us talking about the God of Abraham It's amazing how time flies right. We uh-huh. hard heads so a lot of all kinds die yeah. <laughs> Get your glass, hold your wine high Even those with dough without God on the grind die Let's go. God we fear and know as a youngster years ago uh-huh. Misery la company, company, bounce cause you're miserable right. Things don't appear to go every way you want to do, gotta test you sometimes to see what you're gonna do. Remember, slow down, sure to keep your faith without God. God. Even guns won't keep you yeah. safe. Uh huh. I keep it real so the streets relate. Remember these and snakes, snakes move and speak with hate. Huh. I'll just sit back and reminisce. This you place said in my here, basement. I remember this. I reminisce, I reminisce. I made I reminisce. the beat. I reminisce, you said in my basement. And wrote the lyrics while he was listening to the beat. Sipping on a little something. Okay, Gershon, baby, this round, you know. Running street blocks, ducking, dodging street cops. Wrong, run up on us, wrong. We would let that heat pop. That had to come to a complete stop. I play Chief Too Napoli many already. Died, I cried when, when their heart beat stop. Money's and honeys get your weak spot. God, God is always merciful, but, but them thugs on the street now. Uh-huh. They used to hate and take cheap shots. But look what we got huh. Went from Z spot to a sweet spot We'll never be stopped Suck a seat to see us ever Hate to bust your bubble baby But we here forever Never ever front and fake Always be true mm-hmm. You might have fell in with the hell Shorty me too Love God and always be you Without uh-huh. y'all brother We the through old Tell me what we the do yeah. Love God and always be you yeah. Without God brother We through Shalom See you All this sit back and reminisce yeah. This place here I remember this. I reminisce, I reminisce, I reminisce. I reminisce, I reminisce, I reminisce. I sit back and reminisce. Where does my God sample come from? I remember this. My God. Where does that come from? I reminisce. My God. I reminisce, I reminisce, I reminisce. This next song, I gotta give credit for the sample to my brother Chief Zar. He listening right now. 
Listen to this one. He gave me the sample to this next one. Uh, here we go, here we go now. From their natural mind state. What is doing the crime rate? Y'all think of ways to refine. Keep locally, corporately, throughout the tri state. Hollering zero tolerance to brothers with consonants to this bondage and stuff. Seeking salvation through colleges, not knowing their knowledge is toxic garbage versions of the oppressor's lives. Western ideas, feminist cheers with women and scares. Been influenced by years by Ricky Lake and all the talk show peers. I've been hearing with these bandits to set the standards, even though we stranded in a place, handed the pressure, blessings is granted. Now we hate this to the daughters of Zion living in Babylon, captive the Revelon, dwelling in Nail salons dedicate to the daughters of Zion, abused by their men, confused with them. Sister, the Lord brings her things. I dedicate to the daughters of Zion, okay. drinking and smoking. You got and it, Malachi. I beg you, Shrio. You know your music. Loving the masses, the one who shares herself with too many, gonna play out the fast. You can't lose focus, cause hope is hopeless if Ema's the coke. Sometimes it feels I know like I'm gonna get flagged for this one right here. But you's a daughter of God. I know it's hard being on, dressing in ancient garb, looking the part. I try Where to stay away from certain sexual experts is songs that that industry beat. That's why I don't play some of them. I like to stick with the original. YouTube flags you and puts a copyright claim on it. Brothers suffer from spells of insanity Looking for amnesty through the eyes of his woman Cause his pride was just taken in your sight It's no excuse but the truth is the light Trying to bless your mind with insight My mother raised two boys bolder She told us when your life's on the line to ride baby and die like a soldier Daughters design, keep the soldiers in line There'll come a time when the fruits of your hands I have to stand right. up and shine This is the sample that my brother Chief Zar gave me I dedicate this to the daughters of Zion Living Let me know if you can recognize this sample This is all holy music though to the daughters of Zion huh? Confused by they men, confusion within Sister, the Lord brings all things To go to the next song to the daughters of Zion Drinking and smoking Thinking My brother t gave me the sample I dedicate this to the daughters of Zion So he's technically the, the co-producer of this song Yeah It's for the grown and knowledgeable Let me know you recognize the sample This is how we do it Uh Wisdom, she my type. She stole my heart, pierced it with a dart. So Seven be a little bit more difficult for y'all to recognize my this one. Forsake me, saying I burned too much time with this lady, baby. Got me going crazy. I feel for her body. The truth in this hottie blew my mind like shells from a shoddy. I and Dell leaving her trails behind me. She much older. Got a groove back from this young soldier. She played me close when I neglect liquor and hold sober. She the type to stop live wide cats from getting hype with that influential light. She ignite to fools and scholars, crews with no jewels, the dudes with top dollar. Bring the beauty out. The bras that look like Rottweiler's wisdom Let's bring this back and return to the most high Our lessons will be learned Only repentance, yeah, yeah. Should be our only concern to the most high We should know our Ways, the strength of gaze, gaze. length of my days have blazed now. Pim wisdom, cause, cause she pays. See, I'm manipulated by any travesty. Individual, individual mind state. state. didn't equate to my thinking capacity. See, now I hustle. She gave my mental the muscle to bust through any opposition I want to. So, bonk you, I wax fat and kicked it. Acted out of a lack of tact, for instance. Wisdom can rash decisions, but she blazed when I played the pavement. My bad ways are strange as name from our engagement. Cause I pimped up my temper, stripped her of what she held sacred. She left me without a bill of divorce, cause she couldn't take it. I need a blanket to cover. Calling for lonely hearts, wounded souls, oh. spirits torn apart, or just those uh. living and loving the life that they're living. Take a dose of the most high post rap given. Rap given. Now, how you living? Hey, hey. Oh, point, I'm on a mission, like a position. I'm gonna make this inquisition with words. I'm gonna spread the urge and get you off the verge of your seat. So be the move your feet and plant your ear and what's going on. The rhymes are kicking and the song is strong. I do uh, the rhythm of the beat, put uh, the rhythm in your PR. This before. is the first. I'm sure unique, strong beats is what you crave for, not just a wild style. But 
the first, I guess you could say, Israelite song I heard rap in the 80s. Chief Chief Nataniel Ben Levy. Universal love. Shalom is a greeting, good spirits a meeting. The laws is reproof and the lamp is light. And the brother on the mic to get your height is not Tan yelling, he's an Israelite. Shalom, shalom. Uh huh. Come on. Yeah, that's the big payback right there. That's the drum pattern from Big Payback. You know your music, Malaki Ben Yisrael. We are the world, but only y'all ruses. That's the message of this record. Now you can dissect it. I gave it to you so you can inspect these rhymes that have been selected by Nat Tanya, not, not Nat King, King Cole. Cole. I didn't come to raise hell or play the role, but if your mind's in prison, I'm giving parole and bringing health food for the hungry soul. Food for thought so that you don't get caught. I don't dine in swine, no deal in pork, but to each his own upon On the, the microphone. microphone. Some Say hi, but I say shalom. Shalom, Mr. Greeting. Good spirits of meaning. The laws is reproving. The land is light. And the brother on the mic to get your height is not Tan yelling. He's an Israelite. Shalom. Hey, you gotta do the wop off this one. Survival, not your rapper or a rival, but I may be liable to lose my cool, but never being a fool. Like a fool in this heart at the part of God. It's bad, it's sad. I'm mad. But violence ain't the answer, so I use a pen and pad. Take note as I devote dedication and hope. You can cope with these rhymes inclined to humankind. But beware, hey. I don't mean to scare. None hey. can compare to the hey. force that's forth everywhere. And of course, it is real, cause the spirit to feel. You know my voice is like a drill. Poetry is my skill and my intentions. It's simply to appeal to the chosen few of you who know how to get your back from up against the wall. Let's do this, get do this, and don't stall, don't y'all. Stall. Hey, hey, shalom. This was a long song. I forgot how long this song was. Now that ten yell has been sent to present enough a living. Don't rap with a rip. The, the name, name of the game, the giving gift. So now here I am in popping, dropping rhymes mixed with knowledge of the truth about who we all started from. Some play dumb cause their minds are rust. But even they know the Lord of God are just They must adjust the trust in the words I'll speak And party on down till your knees get weak And just listen to the gift of a microphone Keep peace and love while we say shalom Shalom, 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 shalom. Another one by Chief Nataniel Ben Levy Here we go Once I had a discussion with Chief Nataniel and he told me that this song right here was the best song on the Shema Yisrael Volume 4 album. I argued with him, but he told me. That's what he told me. But let's hear it. Let's go. Now you can dance to the drama. Ask me cause I'm done. Type of brother hold the door for your mama, now she's karma. What she thought? I was there to rob her, the trauma, and have a coroner and mama. And yo, Don't forget to like the sweat. video. Did you believe this? Is a light nation? Don't believe in Jesus. Ridiculous. How could you attack this? Listen Let everybody know what we're doing practice. right now. Yo, to speak freely. God bless all the poor and needy. I'm bold like a feedy, like Houdini. You can't see me many times. I've been tested. Still, I'm uncontested. Now the rest is a stress kid from, from the, the last, last bit I did. did. No new avenue to pursue What Ground Zero The world is looking for a new hero I'm uninvited Like a right But from peace going quiet Now I'm overly excited Now all your phony answers in a place to be Trying to clear my territory And it's R.A.P. Killing me Every Tom, Dick and Harry that wanna be In this industry for fame, sex and money You need to go back to school You need to learn to go to road to therapy This is where you ought to be And let a true MC feed his family Cause you're nothing but a tick on the dog uh. 
What? Tick, tick, tick on the door. Tick, tick on the door. Blood suckers. Tick, tick on the door. Tick, tick on the door. Blood suckers. What? Tick, tick, tick on the door. Tick, tick on the door. Blood The Old Testament, Testament. the Holy Scriptures, that's, that's what I blessed them with. Remember, don't forget, don't forget. you can pick and don't choose, forget. you can choose and pick, but at the sunset, yo, yo son, don't, don't forget. forget, Jehovah watch your every move and every step, from sunrise to sunset, don't forget, forget. Jehovah watch your every move and every step, to whom and make concern, I wanna learn about your heritage, most brothers never thought I even heard of this, strong and mighty like let's see how nice y'all are, y'all be surprised, my life y'all, let's see, if you know what this sample come from. Peace upon just my yell, else should I stay from the dust of the earth man was created. Uh, uh, uh. Shalom, I say to all my peace that ain't at home. The sun shone, hundred years in this wilderness I roam. From Exodus to Egypt, your holy slave, the firstborn. What in the world is going on? We brainstorm. Watch the father raise the sun at dawn. Out of nothing, from nothing is the universe born. Keep selling, keep your selling your soul, selling your soul. to the, to the, what? Soul. to the, huh. yeah. yeah. Tick, tick, tick on the door. Tick, tick on the door. Blood suckers. Tick on the door. Tick, tick, tick on the door. Tick, tick on the door. Blood suckers. You say he may be right. Tick, tick on the door. Tick, tick on the door. Blood suckers. Tick, tick, tick on the door. Tick, tick on the door. Blood suckers. Another one. All right. Shema Israel.
praise the things they say when they try to approach you. I coach you. The praise the living king that I hope you really be reminded and refined through the folks. Hey. See guys with us when we put our best in. I'm stressing. What if all of the leaders was best friends? And David Time used to ride the horses. We living in the time where we drive the Porsches. I'm just speaking my mind and I'm making them nauseous. Real love wouldn't be a high rated divorce. A lot of people fail but come back with a scam. Hey. And just cause you a male, that'll make you a man yeah, I, I just got I this across my computer, breaking news Judge who gave Amber Geiger me. Bible and prayed for her Under investigation by the state of Texas uh. yeah, I Come on, hey, come on Now, I'm going to take it to a little swing, to a little swing right here. Hey, we took, we took the spirit to the church to praise the false God. But when we bring the spirit back to praise the true and living God, then it's sweet music to our ears. Hey, this is the old classic right here. We just put a little swing beat to it. His name is exalted far beyond all blessings. That's me talking at the beginning. Blessed I'm be always the talking. The holy king of the universe. The whole Zebra O. Hallelujah. Sing along. Shell. Now with emojis. Let me see you describe this song with emojis. Meaning, describe this song just with emojis. Baruch Hashem, show Yahweh. Blessed be the name of our God. I want you to describe this song right here, Baruch Hashem, with emoji. Let's go. They not out on the airwaves because the radio stations won't play nothing like this. Use them emojis to describe the song. This one right here. I told him, I said, I said, I want church on this one. He said, I got you. Hey, <laughs> they call it church, but our people took the spirit there to praise the false God. We just taking it back. Hey, who takes pleasure in him?
next one I produce. Oh, he gives us bread and our water too. I see you. I see you beautiful forever. That's dope right there. You're the only one that followed along. This next one I produce. This one is on the Shuba uh, album, yeah. Return. It's another Shema I'm Yisrael talking on it again. Shema Yisrael, it you know when I produce it because I talk records. on it. We got Shake, we got Mekel, got myself Ooze on the beat. Hey yo Shake, why don't you teach them how to praise the most high? Let's go. Blessed be the day of the Shema. Oh, shake. And blessed be the joy that it brings. Blessed be the God of our Father. Everything. Blessed be the joy and the worship. The what? The things that enlighten our lives. Blessed be the God of our fathers. For he is the most high. And Yahuwah is his name. Blessed be the day of the Shabbat. Blessed be the joy that it brings. I produce this one right here, baby. Who gives us everything? Blessed be the joy and the worship. Hey, hey, you should be dancing to this one. Hey, blessed be the God of. Listen, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down right here. Listen, listen, listen. Break it down. Blessed be the day of the shot. Hand clap, everybody. Hand clap. Blessed be the joy that it brings. Blessed be the God of our fathers. Everybody clap your hands. Who Let me see the hand claps. Okay. Everything. Blessed be the joy and the worship. The things that enlighten our lives. Blessed be the God of our fathers. Why? For he is the most high. Hey. And Yahuwah is his name. Hey, Mecca, let's yeah. get it. Told I, yeah, I've been waiting all week for this day. I'm making it sway. Get on my knees when I pray. I'm thankful for the mercy God showed me. Creator, maker of the earth and, and the great seas. Some moon and star and everything that breathes. Uh -huh. Created in the six days and seven he sees. Yeah. My prayers and my songs Come up on. the heavens they reach. If it's answers you need, then it's y'all you need to see. The work is ever nuclear. Shot me scattered with the wheat. But the right I did the Adams on the like rap. The palm tree. Can't harm me. Yah's king can go against thee. Uh -huh. One and only true. Yah Elohim, say ha Shabbat, with Gam Sameak Ani, Baruch Atayahuwah, Mekwadesh Shabbat, with Ain Elohim, Ki Mokayah, Ki Atayahuwah, 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 Atayah
for he is the most high and Yahuwah that was is his shake. name. Voices of Zion, here we go. Blessed is the day of the Shabbat. Say, hey, come on now, now. Not, not no, no church, not no priest, no JC. I use logic. Right now, I have a MPC live. Garage band. I use all those programs to make beats. Hey, where the little bitty you come from? I know where all the light come from, and where the husband and wife come from. I know where but I only make beats when I'm inspired. I don't got too much time to make music anymore. But when I'm back into music, then I get inspired and I make beats. Not no priest, no JC. Hey, come on, come on. No one, not no church. Not no priest, no JC. So I listen to the words of my youth. Yeah. Voices of Zion. Me sing Alina. Tearing down the house. The wickedness, your servant will be test. I find that with your light, you allow me to shine bright. So if you down for ya today, let me hear you say hip hop hooray. Hey. A party in the island will it can listen with your heart and hear it. No longer will I hold his goodness inside. The time is now. Sister Lena told me that it only took a, a few minutes to come up to the lyrics to this song. And it's one of the greatest songs ever written to the Most High. That goes figure. When the Most High God inspires you, He really inspires you. I know where my next meal comes from. Yeah. I know where the city bill comes from. Yeah. I know where all the truth comes from. Come on. And where the little bitty you come from. Uh huh. I know where all the light comes from. Yeah. Where the husband and wife come from. Yeah. I know where all the knowledge comes from. Not and no priest, no JC. Here we go. Yeah, I got a, I had the original machine and then it stopped working with, with the different software. Everything got outdated. 
Love your brothers and your sisters, yes. Stay far from evil doers, stay far from blood suckers. Don't forget to say a prayer. Listen to your Abba and Ima. Mosai, bless my Abba, Shimshom and my Ima, Kwadima. Me keep the Mosai close to me, like a house to a pillar. House to a pillar, yeah, yeah. Keep who bless the sleep, children and all. If you seeking y'all, let me see the number one in the in the chat, y'all. We gotta see y'all. I wanna get closer to you, yeah. No skylarking. Cause them on a move sticky, Babylon a move tricky. Them a set up them plan to come stop we. Society putting us in the wrong direction. Listen to the teachings and make correction. Better be disciplined. We have to save the nation We have to save the nation It's not hard to serve the most high It's the rules and laws you got to abide by Love the breaking with you all of your heart They didn't have a break or suffer No time Come on. Hey. Next song I'm gonna throw on. My brother Old Tani. I think it flows right along with this one right here. Why we don't say ya? Yeah, we say ya. Yeah. Here we go. Why we don't say ja? We say ya. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Hey, my people, we don't say ja no more. No. There ain't no J in the Hebrew don't language. Just respect, we don't say ja no more. There ain't no J in the Hebrew language. Yeah, yeah. Create a vision, everything you have to say. Yeah, yeah. All this is to the Holy King. Yeah. People, people, it's time for us to wake up and shake up the curse that's on Jacob. Scattered all over the world. We are the boys and girls who were sent into Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Rise up, rise up. You must learn your language. Cause switch the day for why it's so dangerous. And we don't say it ya no more. Say in the Hebrew language. And brother, we don't say it ya no more. No. No. You have to say ya. Ya. You have to say, yeah, yeah. All praises to the Holy King. Now listen, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Yeah is the rest of my them king. Yeah. And yeah is the Almighty. Uh huh. The Lord of everything. Come on. The Lord Almighty. Uh huh. The rising of the sun. Yeah. The light has begun. Come on. I will ever be exalted, the Holy One. Come on. Come on, Otani, sing that song. Say it ya no more. We don't say it ya no more. No, no, listen. You have to say it ya, ya. You have to say it ya. If y'all ready to praise, I need you to get up off your seats. With this next one. Brother, we don't say it, no more. Go 
put this no J in the Hey, hey, my sister said, don't say ya no more Say ya, ya. We talk each and everything. You have to say ya, ya. All praises to the Holy King. Yeah. Get ready for this next one, Cornelio. Here we go. 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 This is what we did at Unity Shabbat. What we, where the people start dancing. Favorites on this album that he sent for me. We gonna praise him, shout aloud, show you love. This song is hot, but I like this next one. Here we go. This is my one of my favorite songs from this album. called destiny y'all slowing down the pace a little i like this one right here hey i like this one right here destiny hey destiny yeah destiny the beat on this one is destiny. tough. Destiny. Hey. Destiny. Come on, come on. Destiny. Slowing it down a little. My destiny. Come on, come on. He gives us life. Hey. And as a child. You just grew with this one right here. We are born here for a purpose. This one right here is fire. At that time, yeah, we're too young to understand his holy plan. So he must raise us, room and teach us of his plan, our destiny, 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 destiny. As we 
we grow, we believe we can succeed on our own. We think we know, forget what we're told as we grow old. We become bold. Oh, and song this one. We make and whoever made that beat right there, that's a tough for beat. The future. If you like this one, don't remember. Give me some thumbs up, some destiny. ones. Destiny. Destiny. Hey. No. Destiny. Come on. Destiny. Destiny. This one right here was complete. Destiny. Destiny. Maybe we could have had some, Destiny. some background harmonizing. Destiny. Some sisters, I could hear it. I hear it, but the song is tough. Destiny. Destiny. Come on. Destiny. It's good just the way it is, but I'm just hearing different things there. Lord God, and then we bow. Break that down right there. We pray unto and then we bow before him. We kneel before hey. him. We glorify him. We pray unto him. Destiny. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell right next to the subscription button. I don't know. Come on. Destiny. 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 Forever. Destiny. Oh, I don't mind. Destiny. 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 Forever. Destiny. Oh, I don't mind. Destiny. You did that one, Cohen Elio. Destiny. Calling L.E.L. Destiny. Saturday, they're absolutely righteous. Well, 
wait a minute. So far away from the place you chose, my eyes are crawling upon your name. Many will call you say you do it, but can you give me a try Cohen L E L, Ben Cohen Mikael. That's the one who sings that. This one is just simple right here. I've been working hard to get my life on track. Like Stella and all her sexy, I've been trying to bring my righteousness back. In everything I do, in all my thoughts, I think, yeah. Evasive action, immediate U turn. I've been driving too close to the brink of overdose of sin. I'm preparing for battle, I win. Against the devil, he's trying to bring me into unrighteousness it's living amongst the children of Israel and I must confess mm, I'm no stranger to sweet temptation but I've changed Lord and today I say all that the sword of the most high shall not be swayed I say I'm gonna get to where I'm going you can't stop me no there's no map, no one showing me where to go. Under his watchful eye, his word will be my guide. And oh, there's no stopping me now. now. Where do I begin? Explaining to you this entity sin, the semi Shabbat Shalom, Zion Lion Lex. Shalom, Chief, how you doing? Illusion, it's hey, dangerous. we jamming tonight. At most, you get a choice, but how do you trust yourself when you know man was not made perfect? Then how do you formulate a plan against something you don't understand? And so, in my mind, I turn it into a man. Oh, it's sin. Where a man he be old hey. With no hiding at his blood will run cold Come on. Age considered you think he's wise And this he knows so perfectly Disguises his lies Oh the fake hey Conform so easily in the dark But when night turns the day The haze is gone Your presence has felt it all Become so clear And as you draw near to your righteousness Here comes sin whispering in your ears Something, Something like, like this. this. Hey, turn the mind to change. Turn the dirt to the when the love begins. Turn the to unrighteousness and all begins. And then I'm going to the most high. Turn the to sin and none. I'm turn the to the sun sailing. Turn the mind to the sun for top billing. Turn the mind to the sun for top billing. Turn the mind to the sun. But I'm done at the end of this song. Come on. I'm hey. going to where I'm going. That's how you create a, a ball. You gotta hum you gotta hum it along no first. When you no create a rhyme, that's how you gotta do it. You gotta hum it along go. first. Then you find Under the words. His eyes, first you get the flow. And oh, there's no stopping me now. You like the way I felt that in? <laughs> I hope y'all like the way I felt that in. That empty part. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be the last song right here. <laughs> Voices of Zion, lead singer Alina. Hey Alina, have you listening? Ema Owens, Ema Owens bodied this song right here. She was killing the background. I see where you get it from. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> you heard that top villain there, huh? And it's what Hey, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for listening to the conversation and joining in the conversation tonight. Sing it in my arms. I hear you. Doing it, people. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell. Let a friend know. Chief Oos is rocking tonight. We put almost three hours in. Let them know. You're not going to find it like this nowhere else. God's word won't come back void. Hey, 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 hey. Alina, let's go. Obadiah, who else? Uh huh. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, no number. Hey, let somebody know to listen to this one. Almost all three hours. <laughs> Let them know also that Shabbat Night Talk is on the Uzi Alewi channel now. God's word won't come back, boy. Come on. Doing it. Thank you once again for joining us. Big tune, Dread. I see you, Dread. I see you. Big a tune, you know. Yes, yes. Thank you, everyone, for joining us, for being here with us tonight, showing me that you care about the topics that we talk about and that you love hearing this music. May the Most High God of the universe bless each and every one of you on this night. And may you wake up in the morning to do this all over again. All right. So we thank y'all and I thank y'all for joining us tonight. And um, it was a great discussion. And when you have great topics and you listen to great music, time flies. Almost three hours we put in tonight. So thank you all. I wouldn't be 
able to do it without y'all. So thank y'all for for joining us, for for being here with us, for subscribing to the channels, for liking the videos, doing all the things that keep us going. I'd like to thank y'all once again. May the Most High God bless each and every one of you. Shalom, shalom. Y'all be with us all. Hallelujah. Blessed be.